Hello everyone and welcome back to my garden. It is another very warm day, but this time we're in the beginning of July, so it kind of makes sense. And I'm just gonna, as I always do, take you on a little tour of the garden. I'm starting from a different angle. I don't normally start from down here. Well, I'm first of all sitting on the ground and I'm looking at the peas from the other side where all the lettuces and everything so I'll just show you what's going on talk a little bit about the garden so let's get started and let us start with cubby needing some cuddles but also with this it's a tomato plant with blossoms so it means I will actually have at least a couple of tomatoes this year not that I doubt myself but this is one of the baby boomers so it is going to be small and that's why it's already starting with its um, flowers I think but it's not a very big thing it's only that big right now but it's got flowers so that's great and its little friend over here also very small also has flowers so some great news right at the beginning of the tour the other tomato plants are also looking pretty good this is um, one of the sunrise here and we've got um, a Cherokee purple in the middle and the brandy boy over here hidden amongst the forests of lettuce. And then over there we've got the Brinkbe Borghese. And amongst all of the tomatoes, we've got, as I said, a forest of lettuce. Some of them are doing quite well and not bolting, while others need to be picked immediately because they have bolted up a storm. It's because it just got so warm all of a sudden, so. There's some bolting ones over there. These little curly green ones are bolting. The rest of them are just, I think, being okay. So right here, since it's a different view, this whole line closest to me right here is the Italian um, medley. Further over there, um, I believe some of those are the ones that I planted. Yeah, that's the f the light green way back there is the black seeded Simpson. The red ones here are the Rouge de Ver, which have been very good. They have some beautiful romaine type. Um, what are you doing, Cub? Cub is eating grass down here. Some romaine type leaves, but they're red leaves, so that's really cool. Then these curly green ones here. And then all the stuff way back there are all from Allendale Farm. And they're looking nice. I did a bunch of weeding in here, but there's still, of course, more to be done. Because a weeder's job is never done. Um, besides the tomatoes and lettuce, we also have a couple of garlics coming up in here. And my peppers right here. They're so tiny, I don't know if they're going to end up doing anything, because they're just so small still. But these are both um, poblano peppers. While I'm here, I think I'm just going to pick these lettuces. There's one. And there's two. Quite a feast. Oh, and maybe this guy over here too. So there's our lettuce picked. So on this side, got some more tomato plants. And this is the sunrise. Again, another sunrise. We've got some, every time you see one of the these sticks sticking up. There is a sunflower near it. I mean, we've got a bunch of them around tomato plants, but we also have them as supports for sunflowers. 
And then next to this crazy lot of, I don't know, some sort of random thing, we have more pepper plants doing probably just about the same as the polanos that I planted in the yard. And then these even tinier serranos, which I do not know if they're going to come to anything. But I think this is actually um, a tomatillo. Maybe that will come with something as well. I don't know. Now along here are the peas. And I have picked a bunch of peas. And you think you're getting a ton of peas. I had like a basket half full of pea pods. I ended up with maybe a serving size for one to two people. So I still have a bunch more of um, these ones, the Progress 9, I believe these are. Um, as you can see, they're all hanging down, looking almost ready to be picked. These were definitely later than the other side, which are almost all picked now, the Burpianas over here, over here. Um, but yeah, peas have been relatively successful. Um, I just think sometimes they take up so much room and you don't get much from it. Like you have this tomato plant and it'll take up a fair amount of room, but you get so many tomatoes from it. So I don't know if I'll continue doing peas, we'll see. So here is the other side or the side of the peas. You can see the burpianas have been pretty much picked. But amongst the burpianas, we have some cucumbers coming up. We have one of the butternut squash in here. Another, or butter bush, another butter bush right here. A sweet dumpling squash right at the end. A sweet cubby cat lying in the middle of the yard. Um, another sweet dumpling, I think, here, and another one right there. On this side of the fence, we have some weeding to do. This is a watermelon. And then the watermelon did not come up down there, but I will plant one of the ones that I have in pots. And then here, a closer look at some of the sunflowers that are being eaten by something, unfortunately but they will get more room once I finish picking the lettuce. There's only so much lettuce you can eat at one time. Over to the patio area. Still have strawberries, not doing much of anything. Unfortunately, I got one extra. Oh, do you hear that beautiful bird? So beautiful. So I got one additional strawberry but I think I had a couple that some squirrels stole, so I'm angry about that. Next to it, we have our remaining seedlings. And these are the watermelons that actually just tipped over. That's why they look so weird. Um, but I'll plant one of those in the garden soon. I think these are tomatillos. I don't know why they're just coming up now, but... That is life. Here is the garlic. Not looking that great. I don't know what's going on. It's very disappointing because I want it to be good. So over here to the little herb garden, which is now very much attacked by sunflowers, but I love it. Um, oh no, one of my tomato plants has been attacked by this rake. Are you okay, little plant? I'm so sad for you. I'm sorry, little plant. What are you? Oh, here's this. This is a Cherokee purple. It'll be okay. And here is a... Super steak. 
Hopefully they'll still be big. It's getting taller, which is nice. It gets a lot of sunshine over here. Um, so maybe that's why they look so robust. Then we got some sunflowers back here. We got a Dinah. Hello, Papa. Um, down here I planted another little tomato plant because my parsley basically died. That actually looks like a tomato plant over there as well. Which I did not plant. And I'm very confused about. Um, here's the thyme. And more sunflowers. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello, sweetness. Um, we got some rosemary down here. We've got some more tomato plants in here that look like they're about to bloom. I'm a little confused because I was almost positive I only had three or four baby boomers. Um, but they seem to be in multiple places. I might have up to six. So I'm very confused about that. I don't know. Here is the lemon thyme, which is flowering next to the lemongrass, next to a bunch of delicious looking basil and a whole other container of basil and some sunflowers and a beautiful cat. Hello, sweet girl. You want to be in the video, monkey? Oh, she's sniffing the flowers. Isn't she cute? And you got some chives, a bunch more sunflowers, and a bunch more sunflowers. Here is the lime tree, looking very nice, which I think needs to be replanted soon, but who am I to say? The olive tree also looking very good. The lavender is almost blooming, so beautiful. And finally, we have possibly a tomatillo um, and two more tomato plants. And that's a brandy wine, I know that for sure. Or being brandy boy. This is a this is a this is a Cherokee purple, and then in the middle got zucchini which if you can see down there tiny flowers are starting so we might have zucchinis too how exciting so that is all for the garden just one quick little tour for my seat on the patio we got beautiful cats here we have beautiful flowers some the start of some nice vegetables so i hope you liked this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of these type of videos next week we'll be posting a video talking about what kind of things we're going to be doing on this channel and all the fun stuff we've got planned so make sure you come back from that one and thanks for watching i'll see you next week bye now